Daily double wagering one is Scooter Blue Boy, owned by Paul Simpson, with Jeff Fout, the driver. Number two is Rob D. Hanover, owned by Steve Kaufman, Trent Tharps. Number three, Jim Pollock Jr.'s Kim Can, Jim Daly Drives. The four is Scoot and Photon. He's owned by Ann Kirk with Dave Hawk. Number five, Harry Alltops, Mark Setko, Jack Daly Drives. Number six, Roger Wallbanger is owned by Jeff Brewer with Elliot Deaton. The seven, Flashy Scooter is owned by Kay Rush with Bob Harper. Eight, Burt's Brother Ernie, owned by Betty Jordan with Kyle Lader. And the nine horse is Runaround Henry, owned by Nancy Perry with Greg Grismore. Post time for the first, now in six minutes. In the back stretch, and there they go. They're off. Scooter Blue Boy with good early foot, run around Henry from the far outside. Flashy Scooter between horses, followed by Kim Can. Three wide driving up late is Burt's brother Ernie, caught on the outside, Scoot and Photon. Next is Rob D. Hanover, gap of two marks at go, and Roger Wallbanger settles in last. Moving around to head stretch the first time, and Grismore and run around Henry take command. They're on top a length and a quarter from Flashy Scooter, who yields in second. Burt's brother Ernie drops in third, opening quarter 27 and three fifths. Passing the stands for the first time, Scoot and Photon, first over on the move from fourth. Scooter Blue Boy from the inside fifth, just in front of Kim Can. Gap of two, Rob D. Hanover third last, Mark set go. Roger Wallbanger brings up the rear. Under the wire with five eights to go. Scoot and Photon from the outside gradually clears the top from run around Henry back to second. Along the inside, Flashy Scooter now third. Next in line, Burt's brother Ernie is racing fourth. Gap of two, Scooter Blue Boy comes to the outside, but he's about seven off the pace. Kim Can looks to follow cover. Rob D. Hanover shoots the gap. Two more to Mark said go. Roger Wallbanger last, 12 off the pace. 56 and 4. It's a solid pace with 3 eighths remaining. They head for the far turn, and Scoot and Photon is on top. Scoot and Photon by a length of the quarter. Closely tracked by run around Henry in second. Gap of two lengths, and Burt's brother Ernie has made headway into third. Flashy Scooter ground saving fourth. Scooter Blue Boy looks to come three wide around a tiring Burt's brother Ernie, followed by Rob D. Hanover. Then it's Mark Zed Go, Kim Cannon, Roger Wallbanger. Three quarters in one, 27 flat. Moving around to the top of the stretch. Scoot and Photon is all out, but looks like he can't hold off the charge of run around Henry on the outside second. Caught between horses is Flashy Scooter. Three wide Scooter Blue Boy, four wide Kim Can driving through the stretch, and Kim Can from extreme outside powers in a command. Late pace, Roger Wallbanger back of the pack. Scooter Blue Boy nearest the rail, but it's going to be Kim Can to win the opener. Two and a half lengths clear of Roger Wallbanger. Scooter Blue Boy third. Try 361, $3,090.20. Kim Can returns to the winner's circle for the second time this season. A nine-year-old brown gilded son of Kim King Cam out of Rorty's Rose by Rorty Hanover. Owned and trained by Jim Pollock Jr. of Asheville, and Jim Daly is the winning driver. Time for the mile 159 flat. Parade Marshal Kathy Hawk leads the field out onto the track for tonight's second race. Exacted trifecta wagering take out the six Ryan's future. One is Billy Don't Be a Hero owned by Greg Trent, the driver Jeff Nysonger. The two is Roscoe P. Coltrane owned by Darby's Edge Stable and Dreamer Morgan, Dave Hawk. Number three is No Control owned by Brent Davis, the driver Bob Harbour. Four is D.L. Sam by Frank Castle, David Setzer. Five, Man with a Plan, owned by Rick Heitman and Jerry Kamak, with Rick Heitman in the bike. Six is out, seven is Country Cadillac, owned by Chris McGuire with Darren Mauser. 
And the eight is Mr. Cantwell by Janine Ross with Greg Grismore. Post time for the second race in seven minutes. In the back stretch and approaching the start. They're off and pacing. A pair of levers. Roscoe P. Coltrane from the inside. Man with a plan from alongside. Gap of two. And Mr. Cantwell drives up in a third. Two and a half more. Billy Don't Be a Hero. No control looks to take a tuck. Two more. DL Sam Country Cadillac is last. Seating positions are taken as they move to the top of the stretch. Roscoe P. Coltrane leads the way. L Roscoe P. Coltrane from Man with a Plan. Mr. Canwell third. Billy Don't Be a Hero fourth. Gap of two, no control. DL Sam and Country Cadillac. Quarter time, 27 and four. Passing in front of the stands for the first time. And Dave Hawk in the favorite. Roscoe P. Coltrane are leading the way. Roscoe P. Coltrane tracked by second choice. Man with a Plan in second. Mr. Canwell third. Billy Don't Be a Hero fourth. No control. First over Country Cadillac looks for cover. Trailer is DL Sam. Rounding the turn to halftime. Roscoe P. Coltrane unchallenged on the lead. Roscoe P. Coltrane, man with a plan. Mr. Canwell. Billy don't be a hero with clearance to move out in fourth. He's five off the pace. Still first over his country Cadillac seeking that cover. And then it's no control and DL Sam is last. Off a half in 58 and three. Down the back stretch, three eighths of a mile. To, to race and it's still Roscoe P. Coltrane on top. Roscoe P. Coltrane, man with a plan on the outside second. Country Cadillac has worked his way in a third. He's two and a half off the leader. Mr. Cantwell is back to fourth. Long gap of three. Billy don't be a hero yet to fire. Nothing from DL Sam or no control. Three quarters in 128 flat. Three sixteenths of a mile left as they move for head stretch. And it's still Roscoe P. Coltrane on top. Roscoe P. Coltrane, man with a plan. Mr. Cantwell out for the stretch drive. Five lengths back to the rest of the field as they drive through the stretch. Roscoe P. Coltrane narrowly. Mr. Cantwell driving hard from three wide. Late pace, man with a plan, the rail. And it's Mr. Cantwell taking the lead and drawing away. Man with a plan tight in there with Roscoe P. Coltrane for the place. Eight five exact at thirty three dollars even. Try eight five two one hundred dollars. Daily double three and eight three hundred seventy three dollars even. Mr. Canwell back to the winner's circle. Seven year old bail. Big gelded son of Johnny Scooter out of Sweetwater by Osborne's Bread, owned by Janine Ross of Lebanon. David Perry trains. Greg Grismore, the winning driver. Mr. Canwell, 157 and 3. Thompson, Terry Thompson Jr. Two talented Sam, owned by Five Carat Stable, Ryan Holton. Three, Noble Big G, owned by Robert and Gail Empson. Kane Kaufman drives. Four is Presidential Sugar, owned by the Sugar Knoll Farms with Greg Grismore. Five, Western Kin, is owned by Mayhew and Tapman, Sean Mayhew. Six is First Time Adam, owned by Harvey Toops with Bob Harper. Seven is Twin B Rockin, owned by Briley Green, Parker and Green, Jeff Fout. The eight is Sand Power, owned by Bill Sanders with Dallas Miller. The nine is out. And the 10 is Big Guy, Little Guy, owned by Andrew Malone with Dave Hawk. Post time now for the third in six minutes. They're off. Talented Sam. Noble Big G has hustled off the gate. Falcons design nearest the rail. Western Kin from three wide. First time Adam is settled back. Then we come down to Big Guy, Little Guy. The gap is two and a half. Going off stride on a bad break there was Presidential Sugar. Then it's Twin B Rocket and Sand Power. Moving around to the top of the stretch for the first time, and it's Ryan Holton and Talented Sam leading the way. 
talented Sam. Noble Big G. Western Kin is parked out. Also going off stride there down along the inside was Falcons Design opening quarter 28 and 1. Passing the stands for the first time and Western Kin parked through the first quarter has now kicked away and opens up two and a half lengths. Talented Sam is now going to tighten down again in second as first time Adam comes closing up with a rush in third. Followed by Noble Big G nearest the rail in fourth. Big Guy Little Guy is moving up on the outside in fifth. Followed by Twin B Rockets and Power Presidential Sugar. Far back Falcons Design. Rounding the turn to halftime and it's Western Kin on top in 58 and 3. Out of the turn and into the backstretch. Western Kin a length and a quarter from first time Adam in second. Talented Sam back to the outside third, giving cover to big guy, little guy who's three off the pace in fourth. Noble Big G shoots the gap but needs racing room in fifth. He's three and a half off the lead. Third over is Twin B Rocket. Gap of two. San Power still has five to make up. Presidential Sugar is at the cones and far, far back is Falcon's design. Approaching three quarters. It's still Western Kin on top. Long shot Western Kin. Six panels, 128 and 3. Three sixteenths of a mile left as they move to head stretch. Western Kin, a length and a quarter. Talented Sam is up on the outside. Nearest the rail, we have big guy, or rather that's first time Adam. Far outside is big guy, little guy with sand power as they drive through the final eighth mile. Western Kin is under urging. Out for the drive is first time Adam. Followed by sand power is in gear on the far outside. Western Kin is desperate. Sand power is closing. Western Kin, sand power, they hit the wire together with presidential sugar third and first time Adam fourth. Fourth. Back in the winner's circle comes Sand Power, three-year-old brown coat by No Nukes, out of Steel the Key by Big Towner, owned by Bill Sanders, trained by Jim Arledge Jr., driven a victory by Del S. Miller in 159 and 3. And again, we'd like to welcome everyone with Megan Rosenek in the winner's circle and wishing Megan a very happy birthday tonight. Rundown for race three, Falcons design was ninth, talented Sam seventh, Noble Big G finished fifth. Presidential Sugar was third, Western Kin second, first time Adam fourth, Twinby Rocket eighth, San Power the winner, Sky High Rebo was scratch, Big Guy Little Guy was sixth. Nine seven five three two four eight one scratch six. Here they are. Number one is Rosemary's Best. She's owned by Patricia Smith with Bill Irvin. Two is Silver Star K, owned by Dwayne Miller with Jeff Fout. The three is Striking Sis, owned by Bob Sidley with Dave Hawk. From post four, it's Miss Emily Lou, owned by Dean Davis. Kurt Sugg drives. Five, Rata Jackie, is owned by Jerome Reaney with Sandy Beatty. Six, In My Dust, owned by Hepner and Trimble. Nathan Trimble drives. The seven is becoming silver owned by the Hatfield Stables, but Hatfield up. Eight is top line owned by Steeman and Garver, Joe Adamski. Number nine is Esther Crown over his crown time Shelley and Earl Owings. And the ten is Ms. Striking owned by Berlin and Woolham, Marty Woolham. Post time in six minutes. top line is lagging off the gate. There they go. And they're away in trotting. Also off stride in my dust. Silver Star K is prominent nearest the rail. There's Miss Emily Lou from three wide. Striking sis from in between horses. Then it's a span of three and a half lengths to the long shot. Rosemary's best who comes away in fourth. Alongside becoming silver is six off the early tempo in fifth. Rata Jackie nearest the rail sixth. Two and a half more to Miss Striking. Followed next by Crown Time Shelley. And the pair of trailers both are distanced. Top line and in my dust. Opening quarter trotted in 28 and four. 
passing the stands for the first time. And Kurt Sugg leads the way with Ms. Emily Liu. Ms. Emily Liu by a length and a quarter from Silver Star K. Here comes striking Sis, the favorite, with a rush to take over the lead. Under the wire with five eights to go. Also rolling up first over is becoming Silver. Rosemary's Best is trapped in at the rail in fifth. Off stride to the outside, Rata Jackie. Ms. Striking, Crown Time Shelley, far back. Top line and in my dust. Trotters make their way to halftime. Striking Sis, the new leader. Striking Sis from Miss Emily Liu. Becoming Silver is left uncovered on the outside third, followed by Silver Star K. Miss Striking looks to go three wide, that it's Rosemary's best, and Crown Time Shelley, 101 and 1 for halftime. Down the back stretch with about three eighths remaining. Striking Sis to the inside has a stiff challenge from Miss Striking on the outside second. They're in tandem. Gap of two, Miss Emily Liu is third, followed by Silver Star K nearest the rail in fourth. Becoming Silver now fading fifth. Rosemary's best and crown time. Shelley, the rest are out of it as they hit the three quarters. Striking Sis is holding off a challenge from Miz Striking on the outside. 131 and 1. Moving around to head stretch. It's Striking Sis in front three quarters of a length. Miz Striking still pressuring in second. Followed nearest the rail by Miss Emily Liu and Silver Star K as they trot through the final eighth mile. Striking Sis is under urging. Miss Emily Liu. Miz Striking still there closing on the outside. Followed by Silver Star K and Rosemary's Best. Striking Sis all out. Miz striking the outside. Miz striking gets up to win it. Finishing second with Striking Sis with Miss Emily Lou third. Ten three exact at thirty nine dollars and eighty cents. Try ten three four four hundred seventy four dollars even. Back in the winner's circle. Upsetter of tonight's fourth race is Ms. Striking, a three-year-old Bay Philly by Striking Sabra out of Miss C. Macho by Christus Crown. Owned by George Berlin and Patty Woolham, Marty Woolham trains and Marty Woolham drives. Ms. Striking clocks the mile in 201 and 2. Her first win in two starts on the season in a lifetime best. Again, this series sponsored by Jeff and Susan Richardson. Off a series sponsored by Midland Acres, $4,000 on the line. These are Ohio sired three- and four-year-old stallions and geldings. Their non-winners are two. Tough to go against the two. Come on, Morgan, who looks to be back in tip-top shape of a strong qualifying effort here last week in 155-4. and four. Come on, Morgan, from the inside. Should be very tough to beat. One Sharp Scott will try this one for second. Uh, sharp Scott, been... Uh, Given it uh, pretty decent tries, and now winners a two down at Lebanon Raceway. Draws the rail in here, shows that she can, or rather that he can lay up close, and uh, should be able to pick up second money. Third will go with the seven, the very consistent Summertime Sam. Uh, summertime Sam returned uh, pretty well, uh, raced uh, well on the fair circuit very well last season, and came back with a solid second place effort at Hoosier uh, in uh, his first start of the season. So we'll try a 2 1 7 with about eight minutes to post time for the fifth. Here's a look at the field. Number one is Sharp Scott, owned by Hagemeyer and Daly. Jack Daly drives. Number two is Come On Morgan, owned by Summers and Church's Jamie Dunlap. Number three, Sam's Mighty Light, is owned by John and Stephen Weber with Ryan Holton. Four, GP's El Cid, is owned by Potter and Peters, Jeff Nysonger. Five is Grumpy Gramps, owned by Ader and Fitzgerald, Kyle Ader. Six is Scooter Zach, on by Robert Jordan with Bill Long, Jr. And completing the field from post seven is Summer Time Sam, on by Mark Winters, and he drives six minutes to race time for race five. The starting gate is rolling for race five. There they go. They're off. Away rather evenly. Sharp Scott from the inside. Come on, Morgan is driving through between horses. Scooter Zach from three deep. Sam's Mighty Light gets away in fourth. Two and a half more. The GP's El Cid. Gap of three. Summertime Sam is well off the early pace. 
and going off stride was Grumpy Gramps. He's far back and trailing the field. Moving around to the top of the lane for the first time, and Jamie Dunlap takes the lead with the favorite, Come On Morgan. It's Come On Morgan by two. Sharp Scott back to second. Scooter Zach, Sam's Mighty Light, GP's El Cid, and Summertime Sam opening quarter 28-3. and three. Passing the stands for the first time, and this is Come On Morgan. Come On Morgan on top in his debut. He leads it by a length and a quarter. He's being tracked in the pocket by Sharp Scott in second. Scooter Zach under a stronghold is racing in third. Gap of two more. Sam's Mighty Light is fourth, followed by GP El Cid. Summertime Sam and Grumpy Gramps rushed up and caught the field. Racing around the turn, single file on their way to halftime. And come on, Morgan lets out a notch. Come on, Morgan opens up two and a half. Sharp Scott second. Scooter Zach looks to come to the outside. Sam's Mighty Light, GP El Cid. Summertime Sam comes off the cones. Two more to Grumpy Gramps, half one minute flat down the back stretch three eighths out and come on Morgan is getting loose from this field come on Morgan leads by three and a half now sharp Scott is second by the same followed by scooter Zach at the rail who's now dropped back to third as summertime Sam rallies on the outside next we come down to Sam's mighty light who's in traffic alongside his GP's El Cid and grumpy Gramps is last about 12 off the pace as they hit the three quarters in one 28 and one moving around to the top of the stretch come on Morgan is on top now by four lengths with Sharp Scott, Summertime Sam, you can forget the rest as they turn into the stretch. And it's Come On Morgan on top by four lengths. Sharp Scott, Summertime Sam has dropped back to third, but it's all Come On Morgan, Come On Morgan, easily the best, winning it by four. Sharp Scott and Summertime Sam, 156-2. and two. An effortless win for Come On Morgan, winning this first leg of the Midland Acres series in 156 and 2. A three year old Bay Colt by Noble Land Sam out of Indiana Falcon by Falcon Almahurst, owned by Jerry Summers and Brady Churches of Ohio. Mike Metters trains. Jamie Dunlap is the winning driver. Sharp Scott second. Come On Morgan the winner. Sam's Mighty Light was fourth. GP's El Cid was fifth. Grumpy Gramps sixth. Scooter Zach seventh. Summertime Sam third. Top down. Two, one, four, five, six, seven, three. Dave Hawk, the driver. Two is Sturdy Susan. She's owned by Dan Burks and Hans Bachman with Dan Burks driving. Three is Jordy Coy, owned by Hughes and Swank. David Myers. Four is Crown Time Can Can, owned by Esther Crownover. Earl Owings drives. Five HP score is owned by HPS Consulting. And RFV2 Inc., Ed Greeno Jr. Six is Top Crop, owned by Mount Pleasant, Franklin and Franklin, Bill Mount Pleasant. Seven is Mandalay Bay, owned by HBS Stable and Patty Willem, Marty Willem Drives. Eight is Pine Drive Ikea, owned by Leroy Billman with Bob Harper. Nine is Miss Lee Ann, owned by Joan Mace with Justin Hall off the second tier, Larry Cleland's Carrie Rose and Keith Haynes. Seven minutes. Trotters in the backstretch, ready for a start. They're off. Jordy Coy is out quickly for the lead, joined from the inside by the favorite Last Empress in second. Gap of three, Sturdy Susan, Crown Time Can Can, HP score up alongside. Carry a Rose, Mandalay Bay, Top Crop, Off Stride, Pine Drive, Ikea, Far Back, Miss Leanne. Fairly well strung out as they trot to head stretch and going off stride on the lead was Jordy Coy. That leaves it up to Last Empress. Last Empress by a length and a half. Sturdy Susan, HB scores rushing up. Crown time can can carry a rose and Mandalay Bay. Opening quarter trotted in 30 and 4. Trotting past the stands for the first time. And Ed Greeno and HP score take over the lead. But here's Last Empress looking to come back on the retake. Gap of two. Sturdy Susan is racing in third. Two more. Crown time. Can Can is fourth. Same margin back to Carrier Rose. Six off the tempo in fifth. Up alongside is Jordy Coy back trotting in sixth. Next in line, we come down to Mandalay Bay. Trop Crop is alongside. And then it's Miss Leanne and two and a half more to Pine Drive Ikea. Trotting past halftime. It's Last Empress on top in 103. Three flat out of the turn and down the backstretch. Last Empress by a length. 
Pressing up from the outside is Sturdy Susan in second, followed by HP Score in the pocket third. Two more crown time can can in the big gap fourth. Length and a half, Carrie a Rose is covered up fifth. Jordy Coy up alongside is sixth. Then it's two more to Mandalay Bay to the inside of Top Crop, who has a long way to come. Next in line is Miss Leanne, three more to Pine Drive Ikea as they pass the three quarters with Last Empress kicking clear now in 133 and one. Bound for the head of the stretch. Last Empress leads two and a half lengths. HP score under urging second. Sturdy Susan is third. Trying to rally. Crown time can can on the far outside. No fire from Carrier Rose. Jordy Coy is next as they trot through the final eighth mile. Last Empress is in front here, leading it by three lengths. Then it's HP score. Late trot crown time can can on the outside. Last Empress. Late trot crown time can can. Last Empress tight with crown time can can tight for third sturdy Susan or HP score. Upset winner of tonight's sixth race, Crown Time Can Can. One for one this season, a three-year-old daughter of Overcomer out of Crown Time Shimmy by Shimitar, owned by Esther Crownover, trained and driven by her lowings in 203 and 3. Act at 131 40, try 412, 459 20 in the pick three, 303 correct, $280 even. By Midland Acres. Number one is Cincy Maynard, owned by Tom Price, Mark Winters Drives. Two is Ira Kreitzer's Ira's Noble Boy and Kane Kaufman. From post three, it's Bulldog Big Guy, owned by Bob Sidley with Jamie Dunlap. Four is Traditional Frank, owned by Douglas and Dustin Pfeiffer. Jeff Nysonger drives. Five, Battling Sovereigns, owned by Acadia Farms and Palachina Motors, Dave Hawk. Six, Magic Manor, is owned by Charles Miller with Jeff Fout. Seven is Flash of Competence, leased to Robert Jordan and driven by Bill Long Jr. And the eight is Grandson Josh, owned by Lee Cummins with Justin Hall. Six minutes. There they go. They're off. Battling Somber from the center. Flash of confidence driving up from alongside. Two and a half lengths farther back to Magic Man who tucks in third. Grandson Josh from alongside is driving on from fourth. Next we come down to Cincy Maynard, followed by Ira's Noble Boy who takes a seat. Six off the pace. A length and a quarter more to Bulldog Big Boy and traditional Frank is last. Moving around a head stretch. Flash of confidence on the inside. Looks to give way to grandson Josh, who's driving up to challenge in 28 seconds flat. Passing the stands for the first time, and it's grandson Josh on the lead now by two lengths. Flash of competence back to second. Length and a quarter to battling Sabra third. Span of two and a half. Magic Manor is racing mid-pack in fourth. Cincy Maynard comes to the outside fifth. Ira's Noble Boy is racing in sixth, followed next by Bulldog Big Boy, who looks to pick it up, and traditional Frank is the trailer. Over to halftime, leading the way, it's grandson Josh from Flash of Competence, battling Sabra third, Cincy Maynard, rushing up on the outside in fourth, Magic Manor back to fifth, Ira's Noble Boy, and then it's Bulldog Big Guy and traditional Frank in 57 and two. Three-eighths of a mile remaining as they head down the backstretch, and it's Flash of Competence 
to the flank of Grandson Josh in second. Just in behind, battling Saber races a close up third. Cincy Maynard in the picture fourth. Next we come down to Ira's Noble Boy in fifth. And then it's Bulldog Big Guy, traditional Frank and Magic Manor. Six lengths cover the field in 126 and two. Moving around to the top of the stretch. And it's still Grandson Josh holding off a challenge from Flash of Competence on the outside second. Then we come back to battling Sabra's Cincy Maynard. Traditional Frank Extreme outside with late pace as they drive inside the final 16th of a mile. Grandson Josh under urging leads it by three. Battles on for second. Battling Sabra. Ira's noble boy. But as they come to the line, Grandson Josh holds him off and wins it by a length. Then it was tight for second. Traditional Franker battling Sabra. Back into the winner's circle comes grandson Josh. Third win on the season in seven starts. A four-year-old brown horse by Noble Land Sam at a special glider by Steady Special. On my Lee Cummins of Washington Courthouse, trained by Dan Ader and driven by Justin Hall, 156 and three. Princess, owned by Joseph Lanning with Dave Hawk. The two is Zip.com, owned by Richard Smith with Bill Irvin. Three, Shania B, owned by Miller, Miller, Wingard, and Yoder, Greg Grismore Drives. Four is Sturdy Miracle, owned by Zoin and Cook, Marty Woolham. Five is Just Sweet, owned by Lynn Sammons with Bob Harper. The six is Sleek Sabra, owned by Bob and Paul Ann Sidley with Jamie Dunlap. Seven is Rosie Score, owned by Long, Long, Reed, and Reed. Chip Noble drives. The eight is Why Not Ashley, owned by Wyandotte Golf Course with Jeff Bout. And the nine is Fred Long's Fox Trotting Over with Del S. Miller. Seven minutes until post time. Eighth race, Trotters set to go. And they're off. Sleek Somber from the outside takes the lead. Rosie's score is driving up, followed by Sturdy Miracle, who's angled down to the rail. Also moving up from the far outside is Why Not Ashley, as ATT Princess comes away in fifth. Just in front of Zip.com, gap of two, Shania B. And then we come to Just Sweet and Fox trotting over is the back marker as they move to the head of the stretch. Sleek Sabra and Dunlap lead the way. Rosie Score tucks in second, followed by Sturdy Miracle in third. Why not Ashley ATT Princess? Opening quarter trotted in 30 and four. Coming past the stands for the first time, and this is Sleek Sabra on the point. Sleek Sabra leads Rosie Score by a length and a half, with Sturdy Miracle sitting the three hole. Gap of two more lengths. Why not Ashley is fourth. ATT Princess stays in fifth as Zip.com moves to the outside six. Shania B follows cover in seventh. Then two and a half more to Just Sweet and Fox Nova remains last of the nine as heads turn for halftime. Sleek Sabra is on the lead. Sleek Sabra from Rosie scores second. Gapped out third is Sturdy Miracle in 102 and four. First over on the outside is the long shot Zip.com about four off the tempo racing in fourth and gaining ground. Along the inside why not? Ashley is covered up fifth. Second over in the flow, Shania B with a long way to come in sixth. Then we come to Just Sweet to the outside of ATT Princess, who shuffled back and still trailing his fox trotting over. Racing to three quarters, and it's Sleek Sabra who starts to get away now. Sleek Sabra by three and a half lengths from Rosie score in second. Same margin back, and we come to Sturdy Miracle. Shania B rallies on the outside, 131 and four for three quarters. Trotting to the top of the stretch, and Sleek Sabra is all alone now. Sleek Sabra leads it by five. Rosie scores second. Shania B comes into third, followed next at the rail by Sturdy Miracle and Just Sweet. But inside of 16th, Sleek Sabra is pouring it on, leading it by eight. Getting up for second is Shania B. Rosie scores third, but it was all Sleek Sabra in 201.
Eighth is official, 6-3 exact of 14-20. Try 6-3-7-102-20. In the winner's circle, Sleek Sabra. A three-year-old Bay Philly by Striking Sabra. Out of Charming Sabra by Arnie Almahurst. Owned by Robert and Paul Ann Sidley of Painesville, Ohio. The winning trainer is Mike Metters. And the winning driver with a double tonight is Jamie Dunlap. 201 for Sleek Sabra. Here's your rundown. ATT Princess was fifth. Zip.com ninth. Shania B second. Sturdy Miracle seventh. Just Sweet was fourth. Sleek Saber the winner. Rosie score third. Why not Ashley sixth? Foxtrot and over eighth. From the top, 592 741 368. 12 minutes to race nine. Exacted trifecta wagering. No changes. And please note the judges have downgraded the track condition to good. Track is good. 12 minutes. Here they are. One is Mr. Gladstone by Howard Jackson with Jack Daly. Two Barb's Cloud Dancer is owned by Jim Duckworth with Jim Daly driving. Three is Art Supply, owned by Charles Autry with Greg Rismore. Four is Cam's Ace, owned by Astacio Panagiotopoulos, Charlie Smith Jr. Five is Hot Rod Jack, owned by Bohm and Napoli, Jack Franklin. Six is Ship's Purser, owned by Bartley and Bartley Dallas Miller. Seven is Jim Pollock Jr.'s Hunter and Kane Kaufman. Eight is Fantastic Sam, owned by William Cantrell with Elliot Deaton. And the nine is Metropolis, owned by Ralph Conley Jr. with Dave Hawk. Six minutes. There they go. And they're off. Very scattered at the start. Art Supply was very rank, and making a break was Metropolis. Ships Purser from center field takes the lead. Cam Zasel on the inside is second. Mr. Gladstone comes away in third as Hot Rod Jack ducks in fourth. Next in line, we come to Hunter, followed by Barb's Cloud Dancer. Art Supply up alongside is Metropolis. Then it's Fantastic Sam. And going off stride on the turn was Mr. Gladstone as they pace past the opening quarter in 28-3 and three in front of the stands for the first time. And it's the Aussie shipper, Ships Purser, who leads the way. Ships Purser on top by two, being tracked by Cam Zasel second. Metropolis trying to get in gear on the outside third. He's first over and gaining ground. Hot Rod Jack is back to fourth. Hunter along the rail is fifth. Looking to catch cover. Art Supply on the outside sixth. Followed by Barb's Cloud Dancer. Fantastic Sam. And about five lengths back to the trailer. Mr. Gladstone over to halftime. Ships Purser leads the way. Ships Purser from Cam's Ace. Metropolis is still first over and two off the leader in 58 and three down along the rail. That's Hot Rod Jack racing in fourth, about three and a half off the leader. Another length and a half farther back to Hunter, who's a clear-cut fifth. Two and a half more to Barb's Cloud Dancer to the inside of a laboring art supply. Then we come down to Fantastic Sam and Mr. Gladstone trails. Field is covered by 12 lengths as they hit the three quarters. Still leading the way, it ships Purser and Dallas Miller. They're on top. Three quarters, 127 and three. Moving around to the top of the stretch. Ships Purser by a length and a half. Cam Zace is racing in second. Three wide rallying on the far outside is Hunter in third. Followed along the rail by Barb's Cloud Dancer and a laboring metropolis as they make their way into the stretch. It's Ships Purser still on top by a length. Looking to rally along the inside is Cam Zace. Followed by Hot Rod Jack. Outside is Hunter. But as they come to the line, it's Ships Purser home on top. Hunter getting up for second, Hot Rod Jack third. The seven-year-old chestnut gilded son of Ship Scorch at a Princess Chaton by Thor Hanover. Oh, by R.C. Bartley Jr. and R.C. Bartley of Ohio. Jim Arledge Jr. trains Dallas Miller as the winning driver in 157 and two. Six seven exact at thirty-seven dollars and eighty cents. Try six seven five six zero nine sixty. As a look at the field. One is Hathaway Ryder, owned by James Dewar, with Elliot Deaton driving. The two is Santa's Listening, owned by Glenn Preston Addy, with Jeff Fount. Three Equitability, owned by Mark Rismore. Greg Rismore drives. 
boys Larry Richardson's Blue Lick Road, Todd Jones in the bike. Five, come on Coco, is owned by Adolph Mallets with Dave Hawk. Six, Michael Spur, owned by John and Fran Eckstein with Jamie Dunlap. Seven is Foyt Hanover, owned by Terrell and Clark with Darren Mauser. Eight, Tapia, owned by William Klein III, Dean Collins in the Sonke. Nine, Mr. Taxman, owned by Robert Rhodes with Kyle Lader. And the ten horse is on Bob. Owned by Terry Sams and driven by Bob Harper. Six minutes to race ten. Starting gate is now rolling for tonight's tenth race. And they're off. Equitability leaves well, along with Santa's listening from the inside. Toppy is driving up from the far outside. Splitting horses from the second tier. Ump Bob gets away in fourth position. Three in front of Hathaway Ryder. A bit rank up alongside is Blue Lick Road, followed by Come On Coco. The gap is then two to Michael Spur, Mr. Taxman, and Foyt Hanover is last. Racing to the top of the stretch for the first time. Equitability leads the way from Santa's listening and Tapia opening quarter 27-3. and three. Passing the stands for the first time. Grismore has Equitability on the lead. Equitability, Santa's listening. Here's Ump Bob with a rush on the outside third. Gap of two, Tapia races in fourth. Another four more to come on Coco, who's three in front of Hathaway Ryder. Michael Spur comes to the outside. Then two more to Foyt Hanover, Mr. Taxman. And Blue Lick Road is last about 15 lengths off the pace sitter. Rounding the turn to halftime. Equitability leads the way. Equitability leads it by a length. Ump Bob to his flank in second. Santa's listening. Listening, a ground saving third, halftime 56 and 4. Strong fractions here. Another two lengths by the back, and Tapia comes to the outside, two and a half off the pace in fourth. Length and a half more, come on, Coco is fifth. Long four length gap by the back to Hathaway Ryder to the inside of Michael Spur, who's being called on for more. Then it's another two lengths by the back to Foyt Hanover, followed by Mr. Taxman, and about seven lengths back to Blue Lick Road. They're at the three quarters, 126 and 1, rounding the far turn, and equitable has led every step of the way, has it by a length and a half from Santa's listening in second, followed between horses by Ump Bob in third, extreme outside Tapia is trying to rally, followed by Come On Coco and Michael Spur as they make their way into the stretch, Equitability, Grismore goes to work on him now, he leads it two and a half, pocket sitter Santa's listening is trying to close, but he's laboring in second, it's going to be Equitability in the nightcap, winning it by three, Santa's listening was second, then it was about a three-way photo for the show. Gelded son of Equitable out of Dolly Whisk by Easy Adios. Owned and trained by Mark Rismore at Pandora, Ohio. Greg Rismore, the winning driver. Two wins this season for Equitability, 156 and 4.